factor. It's not quite the same thing. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you to stop by. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Ashley Jalford. I post video about fashion, beauty and lifestyle. So today I decided to do a different video. It's not a whole video, it's like something like getting ready. I have to film like two videos today, so I say why not film how I'm getting ready to do my makeup and my hair. So let's just jump straight to the video, okay? I'm just adding little powder so this is the wig I'm going to use and because I have a specific makeup I wanted to do I will show you the picture I need to cut the light so I have to go really quickly. So now I will start with my makeup. So I want to do something today like this. I don't know if you can see. I want to do something like this. So this kind of makeup. Let's see what we can do. And I'm going to use my Sephora Beauty Amplifier Smooth Base Licence. This one. I will use it like for like uh, a primer because I already put my my face cream before I start my makeup because I, I really have deep like dark circle I, now it reduced by the way I've been using Caudalie I don't know if you saw my video about Caudalie I have been using it but it really helped me to reduce my uh, dark circle and that those product I show you I show you one cream in the video if you didn't watch that video I will put the link in the description so you can watch it it really helped me to reduce my dark circle I really like those product so what I do I will put some foundation under my almost in my hand. so to help me to reduce the appearance of a dark circle I saw it in one video, uh, I forget her name, she used this, uh, this is how she does uh, makeup, so since I've been using this way, and uh, yeah, it really, it's really nice, it really helps you to reduce this dark circle when you finish your So now, now I will do my uh, eyebrow, because before I started I need to do my eyebrow. Why we use this um, Sephora uh, Sephora gel cream? 
Sephora Brow Gel Cream in French, Gel Crème Sourcil. This one, I'm going to use this one. Uh, which shape is it? I don't know. Like, I don't know. The shape, it doesn't say which shape is it. Oh, 03 Dark. So today I'm just going to use my gel. Air Cream Professional Gel. This one. To, to give a shape. You know, to give you some shape before I uh, put my gel cream. The concealer by the way I'm using the Tarte I'm using this one in the shape 47 s 10 deep stand so I'm going to contouring my uh, eyebrow shape I want to to have before to put my uh, the gel cream I'm just going to give the shape so I will have to put just little gel um, gel eyeball Yeah, you see, it already reduced uh, my dark circle before even I put like anything. When you let it like this, it really helped me. Yeah, this is the good way, I think. Sorry, sorry. So for my face, I will be using uh, Yuda Beauty foundation and I will mix it with um, this fancy Yuda Beauty in the 410J and the uh, Fenty uh, 300 Pro Filter 300. I will mix it because this very dry quickly. I, I have a combination like mixed like, uh, skin. I don't want it like to be very dry, so that's why I'm mixing together. So I'm going to use uh, this brush. I don't know really. Now. I for a long, long time now. I'm going to use. It's quite a little dirty. I'm sorry. Then I will use my uh, beauty blender to blend the, the foundation after because I like to apply with a brush, then uh, blend after. So you have to be very light because you the beauty is very covering, a very good covering. So you don't need to use it a lot. I use it a lot. Sorry, but I will blend it so we can reduce. You can really see that like, there is like complete difference. It's a little lighter, but it's okay. I don't. I have, I have a really big problem finding like one. 
foundation to match my skin tone like very different most of the time i prefer like to mix two color and find my shape so i'm going to use my beauty blender just to remove excess of foundation to use the same concealer I used to for my eyebrow to clean the eyebrow where yeah, I'm shouting this is like uh, quite darker then I will put the clear one on the top so I'm, I'm going to use the shape 35 and medium that also Bronzer and contour stick from Sephora. Makeup Forever Makeup Sitting Spray Long Lasting Moisturizing. This one, I'm going to use it. I'm going to use the Fenty Beauty and can you see this one in the shape uh, banana so when I set my face I don't use uh, the sitting powder under my eyes because it just dry your skin and it dry my eyes so, so my dark circle uh, you know when I use it they can see more of my dark circle so I just stop using a sitting powder under my eyes Benefit powder, this one. I have it in the sh uh, shape seven, velvet powder foundation. I have in the sh uh, shape uh, seven, but it's quite like yellow and darker. I will go that to, um, to buy a lighter color, and uh, because it will not going to dry my under eyes, so I stop uh, baking. Because when you baking, when I baking, like I put those uh, sitting powder. It doesn't make it, it make it like worse, you know. And uh, when I use that just normal powder, smooth powder under my eyes, I don't have any problem. So yeah, I'm going to use this one. I really like this powder. I really like it too much. 
I'm just going to the shop. If I use the, uh, the um, baking powder, my under eyes will be like more dark by now because it will just dry it and it's not good when it's dry so yes I prefer to use a powder like normal powder, smooth powder, velvet powder, something like that. I use it more better. So for my contouring I'm going to use Benefit Olatos in this shape. I'm using this brush by the way. Start the eyes. It's kind of she just like um, I think it's like uh, dark brown and little that lighter brown and the little dark from the things. Okay, let's start. So I'm going to use my Urban du Duquet palette. I have this I think like two years now. I really like this palette. Those are the color inside. You see, it's almost like done, but I really like it, and I think there is more color I need to use for this look. So first, I'm going to go with this lighter color. This one here, I'm going to go for this. just on the on the front so I'm going to use uh, the black color this black color for my under eye I'm going to blend it uh, just you know. we're coming there okay so it's not quite bad so I just need to add some lashes and uh, mascara and yeah we see we're getting there, okay? Not perfect, but <laughs> we're trying to get there. with my, my uh, makeup forever I'm using this one here my is quite look very darker in the picture than in the in the video than now I don't know so I'm going to use some highlighter 
I'm going to use Anglo Jean Lopez highlighter. I really like this uh, highlighter. I don't know how long I've, I have this, maybe three years. <music> I'm going to do now I'm going to do my lips let me do the foundation here I'm not going to do my lips like uh, I'm not going to use my lips like this I'm not going to do this like this uh, because I don't just like the color I'm using I will use like some contouring and the matte lipstick and gloss on the top Okay, uh, lipstick in the color is A49, MAC A49. Yeah, I did my contouring. So on top, I'm going to use this lip gloss from MAC, but I don't see the color. Retro Matte Liquid Lips Color. Just put it like in the middle. Okay, then I will use this lip gloss. I like this one, but <laughs> there is no name. I don't know how to tell you. I love this lipstick so much. I bought it on uh, one pharmacy, not on in Sephora. Uh, the Fenty lips gloss on top. It's not deep what I wanted to do, but you know, it's something look like that, okay? Not bad. <laughs> not bad at all. It's not quite the same, but we're almost there, you know? Like, we were almost. We were almost there. Because first, we don't have the same. Uh, Eyebrow first, we don't have the same eyebrow shape, you know, we don't have the same face like thing, but the makeup is almost and the hair is almost the same, right? Like. So leave in the comment what you think about that. I'm finished. So this is the end of my video. I know it's not quite similar, but little, you know, just little, you know. It was very very fun. It took me like two to three hours. The hair and my makeup. You here? Thank you, girls. If you watch this video still the end, thank you, thank you so much, and uh, I see you in my next video. Bye.